Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass the Algebra Common Core Regions. So in this video we're going to do this one step at a time. Here's question 34. So this one you just need to graph the system of inequalities. So it's much it's very similar to graphing simultaneous equations but now we have inequalities so we have to be careful of our dotted open and closed circles our dotted lines and our open and closed circles. And the solution is always where the two shaded regions overlap. So let's look at this. So first we wanna convert each of these into y equals mx plus b form. So we can easily graph these according to equation of a line standard form. So we have minus x plus two y minus four less than zero. So we want it in this y equals mx plus b form. So we're just gonna move the four to the other side and we get negative x plus 2y is less than 4. Then we're going to move the x to the other side and this is going to give us 2y less than 4 plus x and now we will need to get rid of this 2 so we're just going to divide everything by 2 and this gives us y is less than 2 plus 1 half x. So just to get it into y equals m x plus b form let's just switch this around a little bit and we'll get y is less than one half x plus two. So this is one of the equations that we're gonna be graphing, one of the inequalities. So let's graph this first and note we wanna use, since this is a less than sign, if we're gonna be using a open circle to plot each point and dotted lines and a dotted line. So, so let's graph this, so the y-intercept B is equal to 2. So that's going to be the first point we graph. So we're just going to go to the y axis and go up to 2 and put an open circle. And then the slope is 1 over 2. So that means we're going to be going up 1 and to the right 2. So let's do that. 1, 1, 2, put an open circle. Up 1 over 2, open circle. And then we could go the other way too. Down 1 to the left 2, down 1 to the left 2. And remember, to connect these lines, we're just going to use that, that dotted line to represent the less than sign. So now let's label this y is less than 1 half x plus 2. And now let's shade. So to shade less than, we have a less than sign. That means we want all the values, all the negative y values. So we want to shade. So notice that the negative values of y are this way. So that's the way we're going to be shading because that's what we want to include so y is less than this okay next we need to look at our second inequality and get that into y equals mx plus b form so we're just bring that over 3x plus 4y plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0 and now we're going to leave this 4y here and we're just going to move everything to the other side so we're going to subtract everything so this gives us minus 3x minus 4. And then we need to divide out this 4 to get y alone. So that gives us y is greater than or equal to negative 3 fourths x minus 4. So we're just going to do the same thing. So notice, before we graph anything, this is a greater than or equal to sign. So that means a closed circle. And we're going to be using a straight line. So this time the y-intercept is minus 4. So let's go down one, two, three, four on the y-axis and then put a solid dot. And now if you look at our slope, so let's make, let me just write it over here so we can see what we're doing. So we have y is greater than or equal to negative three, four x minus four, the y-intercept b is equal to negative four and the slope is minus three fourths. That means we're going down three and to the right four. We want to go down three, one, two, three, and to the right four. One, two, three, four. And then we could do it the other way too. So up three, one, two, three, and to the left four. One, two, three, four. So now we want to connect our dots, this time using a straight line because we have a greater than or equal to sign. So that means everything on this line is included in the solution. And let's label our graph. So we have y is greater than or equal to negative 3 fourths x minus 4. And now for the shading. 
So since this is greater than or equal to, we want all those positive y values. We want everything above in the top part of the y axis. So we're going to be shading up to include everything here. And wherever, remember we said wherever the shaded regions overlap is, the solu is included in the solution. So notice this section right here, this triangle. This is where everything, let me highlight this more. So, so this is all the solution right here. So now there's a follow-up question. There's a second part of this question. Steven says the point zero, zero is a solution to the system. Determine if he is correct and explain your reasoning. So zero, zero is right here. So that is in our solution. Steven is right. So, but we're gonna need to prove it, right? And explain it. So the way to do that is to take the coordinate point zero, zero and plug in the X and Y values into the inequalities to see if they work. So if we put in negative zero plus two, zero minus four, we have to ask ourselves, is that less than zero? So we get zero plus zero minus four, so that's minus four is less than zero, yes. And now for the second equation, we have three times zero plus four times zero plus four. Is that greater than or equal to zero? So let's see, we have zero plus zero is zero, and then we're left with four. So four is, is greater than or equal to zero. Yes, that's correct. So, so now we kind of have our reasoning Zero, zero satisfies both inequalities and is therefore a part of the solution. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!